Hi everyone, it's Dawn. Welcome back to my channel. So let's get right into today's video and I'm gonna be sharing with you my favorite fall fragrances. And I have about four or five fragrances that I absolutely love. Um, actually, I love them all year round because I tend to really love kind of spicy, seductive, mysterious scents and also scents that can be kind of unisex. Although I don't think I have any of those here in this video. I've, I share fragrances with you from time to time that I'm really enjoying. And the ones that I'm going to share with you that are like my signature scents are staples in my collection. And I talk about them a lot. So I'm just going to brush over those. And then I will share with you the four or five fragrances that I absolutely am loving like over the past few years of fall. None of them are new on the market, but one is new to me because I have an empty. And when I went to the store this week, I went to Ulta to replace that empty. And I ended up choosing something else I've been wanting to try instead. So that's what we're going to do today. And then I thought I would just share with you briefly my history history of fragrances. Whenever I was a little girl, my mom sold Avon. And when I was in about sixth grade, I got my very first like fragrance that wasn't Love's Baby Soft or Love's Fresh Lemon, which is what I wore K through well, not even K, probably like in fifth grade, fourth and fifth grade, my mom would let me wear those little kind of baby fragrances that make you feel grown up. And then when I got in middle school, I got an Avon fragrance called Occur. I don't know if any of you remember that. And I really loved that fragrance all through middle school. And then when I got in high school for a Christmas gift from Santa, I got a gift set of Ralph Lauren's Lorraine and it's like that square bottle I'll put a picture of it on the screen and I received the perfume a big container of powder with a giant powder puff which I thought was just like awesome and then I got like a body lotion and that fragrance I wore um probably like freshman year until senior year of high school. And it evokes so many memories of high school. First loves, first breakups, first jobs, um, friend, new friends, old friendships that kind of broke apart. Um, and it triggers so many memories for me that it can almost make me a little bit weepy. Sometimes it would be like just too much. So I didn't like to revisit it. Not that they were bad memories, but I'm very olfactory. So my sense of smell is probably what triggers the most memories for me. Certain scents just can really take me back. So anyways, that's my history with fragrances. Then when I got into college, I got a fragrance from my mom for Christmas and it was Coco by Chanel. And it was like my first expensive, really luxurious fragrance. And my mom has kept me stocked with this every year since. So she, around Christmas time, she'll even ask me, do you need another bottle? But sometimes she gets me such big bottles, they last a couple of years. So she hasn't purchased it in a little while. Um, I, this is this, I had two going at the same time because you know they were large bottles and they take forever to get through because you need the teensiest bit. Um, but um, I don't know. I don't think I'll need any this Christmas either. Oh, it smells so good. If you've never smelled this, it is just so amazing. I think of it as more of an evening scent. Although since I don't go out in the evening so much anymore, I do wear it during the day when I go out with like friends or go out with my husband more for special occasions than for daily use. But sometimes I just think, oh, I haven't worn it in a while and I love it so much that I'm going to wear it. I did write down briefly just some of the notes and it is described as a mysterious oriental scent, which is like right up my alley. I love oriental kind of darker, mysterious fragrances. And um, it has jasmine in it. It has ylang ylang and Indonesian patchouli, vanilla, it, warm vanilla and it's a little bit spicy. So the base notes are like the Indonesian patchouli and the vanilla and it just kind of um, envelopes you in this kind of gourmand foodie sort of scent. Um, it sort of smells effervescent to me is the only way I can describe it, like bubbly, like um, champagne would be. You know, I don't know how, how I can describe that as a scent 
but I don't know, that's just like an image that comes into my mind. Definitely get a sample of this or try it sometime. It's absolutely beautiful, very long lasting. So when you spray it on yourself, you need just the teensiest bit and you will smell it. I even smell it on myself. And I've been using this ever since I was 18 years old. I've never been without a bottle. So that's like my signature number one scent. Okay, the next one I got when I was a young woman, just kind of beginning my family. It was after college and I made a new friend at my job and she smelled so good very fresh and a little bit warm and spicy and i just love the way she smelled so i asked her what it was and she said it was origins ginger essence and it's made by origins and this one does smell like ginger and this one is described as clean warm citrus with a little bit of bergamot and um softer notes at the base so Oh, it just smells so good. It's a, definitely more of an oriental spicy scent. It smells a lot like ginger and um, it's a really nice scent. I get a lot of compliments on it. I feel like this is one of the scents that people will either, like people might like it on you because you smell fresh and clean. That's what I think of when I smell this. But a lot of people might not like it on themselves because it is a spicy scent like ginger and that isn't for everyone, I suppose, but I really love it. And I have the shower gel, I have the lotion, and I have this. And you do need to kind of layer this one because this one isn't particularly long lasting. So I like to use a little bit of the lotion on my arms and then I'll spray it like on my wrists and then just kind of rub a little on my neck and then it will last longer. And then I have a hand lotion that I keep in my purse when I wear this. So that way I can just reapply the hand lotion if I need to kind of freshen up my fragrance during the day if it's going to be a really long day and I'm not home at all. And the last one is from Lancome and it's La Via Spell. I talk to you about this one a lot. I won't be using this one in the fall. I don't like it in the fall for some reason. I really like this one most in the winter, like January. Oh, I like it in the spring and summer too, but this really pulls me through the Illinois winters in January when it's getting dark so early and it's so cold and you just start to feel really like Christmas is over and Thanksgiving's over and what do you have to look forward to? <laughs> this will really brighten up your life. It really does for me. Switching into this, it's like something I put on in the morning and it just makes me feel happy. It really does. So um, yeah, I love this, but not for fall. Okay, the next fragrance I really love in the fall and winter. And this one is a little bit sweeter than all the rest and it's from YSL and it's called Mon Paris. You probably have heard of it. Maybe you've sampled it or have tried it yourself. But this one is described as C-H-Y-P-R-E, Chaper. I looked up the word and it says a perfume made from sandalwood. <laughs> so it has notes of sandalwood and it is a fruity scent. And the top notes are strawberry, raspberry, pear, orange, and tangerine, and bergamot. And then the middle notes are peony, jasmine, and orange blossom. And here's why I love it for fall, because the base notes are Indonesian patchouli, and then regular patchouli, so two different types of patchouli, three different types of musk, it says white musk, and then when you read the description, it says three different types of musk. I really like musk and base note. It has vanilla as a base note, and broxen moss, and I'm not even sure what that is, and cedar. So it kind of has like a little bit of a powdery scent. It definitely smells sweet when you first put it on, but then as it kind of warms up with your skin, you can start to smell that vanilla and the musky scents. I can't really smell the patchouli in it. And I don't really love the smell of patchouli on its own, but I do love patchouli in fragrances, especially when it's in the base notes. And I do like sandalwood in the base notes as well. So it's kind of grounded with those notes that I really love, like vanilla and musk and patchouli, the two different types. The Indonesian patchouli is a little bit spicy. So it's like a spicy, sweet, um, not a floral, but a fruit, fruity. Um, definitely get a sample of it if you've never tried it. It is absolutely beautiful. And I love the packaging, look how cute it is. It has this little black bow on it. 
um, from YSL. It says YSL and the bottle is just so pretty. And I really like this fragrance a lot. Okay, I have my glasses on to read the notes in this one. And this one is from YSL as well. And I just ran out. I have a tiny bit left in here, but the bottle is essentially empty. It is the fragrance that I went to Ulta to repurchase. And then I got just Distracted and I selected something else that I've been wanting to try, but I know I won't go long without this one because my birthday is coming up in December. So I thought I could get this from my mom for my birthday. She always asks me what I want. So that's my plan. I'm going to ask her to just repurchase it for me for my birthday, even though it's a seductive and a little bit dark. Um, I love it all year round, even during the day, even though some people would call it a daytime scent or they wouldn't wear it in the summer maybe, but I just like what I like. So I'm gonna wear like whatever fragrance I wanna wear, no matter what season or time of day. I just have my reasons for choosing different fragrances at different times. And it's not really all about anybody else. It's more about me and my preferences. There is one fragrance though that I'll mention at the end that I don't really purchase very much because not everyone likes it, even though I like so it. This one is described as an amber vanilla fragrance, and the top notes are pear, pink pepper, and orange blossom. The middle notes are coffee, jasmine, almond, and licorice. Oh, it just like makes me want to taste it. And then the base notes are vanilla, patchouli, cedar, and cashmere wood. Just everything that all those words just describe my perfect fragrance. <laughs> I love this as much as I love Coco by Chanel. This one, it definitely has, um, you could smell the pear and orange blossom, like the fruity notes at the top. And it just blends very well with the more darker seductive, like your vanilla patchouli and um, cashmere wood <laughs> cedar. Mmm, I just absolutely adore this fragrance. It's like one of my number one favorites. I almost can't believe that I walked out without it, but I really wanted to try this other one and so far I have no regrets. Okay, the next fragrance is one you've probably all heard of. They make beautiful deodorants and they make fragrances and it's La Vanilla or La Vanilla, La Vanilla and it's made by La Vanilla, and this is pure vanilla. I've tried spicy vanilla in the past, which I can't find anymore, I really like that one. I tried coconut vanilla, which I really like in the summertime, and I did use that as my summer, like I keep kept it in my purse. And then in the fall and winter, I love this one, which is the pure vanilla. They also have a lavender vanilla. If you like lavender, that's really pretty too. I always have a roller ball of this one and I like to have it in my purse because it is so nice with any other fragrance that I'm wearing. It does smell like vanilla. I put a little on my wrist to, to kind of take it in as I'm talking. So the first note I smell is sort of like a warm, slightly spicy vanilla. And the fragrance is described on Fragrantica, the website that describes fragrances, as an oriental fragrance. It does have Madagascar vanilla, tonka bean, patchouli, and heliotrope, which I think is a flower that smells a little bit like freesias. And it is described as powdery and sweet and, um, it's not overly sweet. It's just a very pleasant and it's a very natural vanilla. And I like it in my purse because like I said, it plays well with any other fragrance that I'm wearing, even my Estee Lauder. Well, the Estee Lauder La Vie Spa has vanilla in the base notes. So it just kind of touches up your fragrance during the day and makes it, it just makes you smell, smell good if your fragrance is kind of wearing off. I have another vanilla scent that I really enjoy and I have purchased this several times. And whenever I purchase mine, it's whenever I'm out and I find it at Anthropology. And it's only $10 for a, like a small bottle that will last you, I mean, if you wear it every single day, I think you could at least get six months out of it. And it is called Vanille and it's made in France. And I did try to look up the notes on Fragrantica to see if it has anything in it. And I couldn't find it on that website. But when I did find it online, it just described it as vanilla. And I guess that's what it is. It's like a warm vanilla and it isn't artificial at all. It does smell like a warm, a warm, 
vanilla fragrance is you know it, it smells wearable it doesn't smell like uh, like alcohol or chemically like some um, some vanilla fragrances can so these are my two favorite vanilla fragrances and I keep this one in my purse in the summer I had the vanilla coconut in my purse from La Vanille oh and like I said this one is only like ten dollars and this is like um, I don't know it's definitely probably around $30 and the full bottle is around 50. So um, you can try this one for just 10 bucks if you go to Anthropology or probably look online. I'll see if I can link it. Really nice. Okay, the last fragrance is the newest one to my collection and I've been wanting to try this for such a long time. I've sampled it many times and for some reason I just never purchased it. And I went into Sephora to purchase my black opium, but I ended up coming out with this fragrance. And like I said, I plan on asking for this one for my birthday. So it's not that I like this new fragrance more. I just decided to take the opportunity to try something I've been wanting to try for a long time. And this is not a new fragrance. You've probably all had it in your collection at some point. And it's from Victor and Rolf and it's Flower Bomb. And the bottle is so cute. The larger size is really cute too. It's just a really beautiful bottle. And um, I don't know if this is what they're going for, but like the larger bottle, I'll put a picture of it. It's kind of shaped maybe like a grenade and then like it's got this little pin on it, like a bomb. <laughs> it's a flower bomb. And I really like this size because it's a spritz. They do have the tiny ones that you can get, but the opening of the bottle is just an opening. So you have to kind of dab it out. And I don't like that. I'd much rather have a spritz that I can kind of spray and walk into so it gets in my hair and on my decollete and you know that's the way I like to apply my perfume. So Flower Balm from Victor and Rolf is described as powdery and musky and the top notes are green tea and bergamot and then the mid notes are orchid, jasmine, rose, freesia, African orange flower. So it does have um, a sweet floral mid notes in it and then the base notes are you guessed it patchouli, musk, and vanilla, just like every other fragrance I love. And it's really, really pretty. Um, it smells a little bit sweet, but also a little bit warm and spicy as well. And I think that this fragrance would be really beautiful any time of year if you're someone who likes to wear your fragrances depending on the season, not just based on what you like, like I do. So, because I pretty much wear like fall scents all year round. So um, yeah, I'm loving it and I'm glad I picked it up. I've only been using it for like a week. I've put it on every single day and my husband likes it and it makes a great addition to my fragrance collection. Um, now there is one fragrance that I really enjoy a lot and it's Alien from Theory Muggler. I think that's how you pronounce that. And I've tried Alien and I've tried Angel and I've tried the green one. I can't remember what that one is called, Aura, I believe. Um, and I like them. I like Alien the most, but so many people don't like that fragrance. It's not for everyone. There are people who love it and it seems like there are people who hate it. So I haven't purchased it because I'm worried that when I'm wearing it, it might be offensive to someone. Like I don't wanna be the stinky lady, even if I'm enjoying it. So I haven't picked that one up. Let me know if you've tried it or if you um, have smelled it on someone, if you love it or if you hate it, if you've had the opportunity to try any of the Theory Muggler fragrances. I feel like they're very unique. And um, yeah, I really like them. There's something about them that I really like. So thank you for spending some time with me. Let me know what your favorite fall fragrances down in the comment section. We can all read each other's comments and get ideas. If you can describe it, that's even better. Like describe the notes or the what it evokes. And um, if there are any fragrances that you absolutely can't stand, let us know too. It's gonna be fun to read what people like and what they dislike. I really wanna know too. <laughs> I mean, I, it, it, this is like more for me than anyone because I really wanna know what fragrances people don't like or obviously what you love. Thank you for spending some time with me and I hope you have a blessed and beautiful day. I'll see you next time.